GGs. Uh, yeah. Changing money, man. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, I haven't been in this position, obviously, before. I know I'm going to get away for a little bit, get my mind right, um, and just see kind of how things play out. Uh, I'm excited for this. I'm excited for this team that, you know, all that we did this year. Um, but, yeah, going forward, I mean, it's just kind of just, just the waiting game. Do you want to test free agency and see kind of what other teams value you at, or are you interested in coming back before you even get there? Uh, if everything shakes out right, you know, I hope it doesn't get that far, but, you know, you never know. Um, you got to do what's best for me at the end of the day. It's been a it's been a great four years here, you know, just re, uh, recapping it. Um, we've built. I can now say that we're in a better position than I was when I got here, which I think is always my goal. Um, and so now we'll see what happens in the future. But, yeah, I mean, I appreciated you guys, or most of you guys. You know, <laughs> we'll see. You know, but it's been, a, it's been a great year. It's a little strange that you guys have built so much, but a lot of you guys are not signed next year, so you don't really know what it could look like next year. Yeah, it's it's a weird situation for sure. I think our core right now is good. I think it could be really good going forward. Um, got young, a lot of young talent. Obviously, you know, Shane and you know, Dave all are – going to do a lot of things to build on this team, create more depth, and to get us you know, to where we need to be and where we want to be. Um, but yeah, I mean, you, you, know, you never know how offseason shakes out. This team won't be the same going forward. Uh, and all you can hope for is just it improves. And so, yeah. Julian, obviously, you know, there were a lot of questions about you coming in, right, this year. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, could you fill in for Logan and stuff? So what do you think you showed people about your value to whoever? Um, in terms of the, your positional value? Like. Yeah, I think I've said it since the beginning, and a lot of you guys have seen it, and maybe in small uh, small moments. Uh, I don't think I've played better. I think I've just played more. Uh, I think I've been pretty consistent, pretty productive in whatever capacity it's been in. Uh, this year, having to hold down the fort, I felt like at times, uh, to be the guy for us, I think I did a, a solid job. Obviously, there's always to improve, a lot to improve on, but... You know, I was leaving a lot of games this year, like knowing that my best effort was out there. Um, and so, yeah, I think it was a success successful season for myself. Um, and now I know what the bar is. And so going forward, I, I know what a full year as a starter is for me. And it's pretty damn good. And so I got to keep stepping it up. Julian, I think it was it was during the bye that the Giants started you know, the, the initial discussions about a contract extension. Mm -hmm. Did you... Were you privy to, like, are you involved in that? Do you just let your agent handle it? And did you leave those conversations thinking, like, you know what, we're, we're moving towards a deal here? Uh, yeah, I was pretty involved. Obviously, the agents deal with that stuff. Um, oh, I lost you back there. So uh, Yeah. Uh, no, you're good. You're good. Uh, I was pretty involved, and I am pretty involved in it. Um, I, we left off in a, a better position um, at the end of the bye week, and we'll see what things, how things shake out. Um, but, yeah, it's going to be – an exciting time. Obviously, talks will be had. Uh, now you're able to see a full, uh, instead of a sample size at the bye week, you're able to see a full season of production. And so, you know, we'll, those talks will continue, obviously. And you guys know I love it here. And so we'll see what, what happens. Julie, just to clarify, you said. Oh, you got it. Okay. What's it like in the immediacy of, of a season ending as it, as it does for, you know, most teams, including obviously yours last night? Yeah, it's an emotionally vulnerable time, honestly. You know, you put your heart into so much, and, you know, like I said, to fall short is, is, is tough. Um, you try to reflect in every every way you can, but, you know, you know, as I'm, I'm reading on the way back, uh, I was reading a book, on the way back, you know, uh, from the game, you're just not paying attention to anything. You're just kind of reflecting on everything that happened this year, the, the highs, the lows. That's what a season is. I mean, one team this year is going to end the season on a happy note. Uh, we weren't that team this year. Um, but, you know, thinking of all the highs and all the success that happened this year, it was pretty exciting. From, you know, the London game was fun. The the home Ravens game was the loudest I've ever seen met life to clinching against the Colts. It was just a whirlwind of, of good times, and we had a really good group in this locker room. A lot of great people. Um, everyone put their ego to the side. Some guys had the ego, but it all meshed together. Uh, in, in a cohesive way and so you know just as I was reflecting on this year you know I was just the most happy I've been the past four years. Julian you said that you have to do what's best for you but is yeah. the preference to come back here and continue what this team started? Yeah I'm, I'm always somebody who like I said wants to continue to build on anything I'm a part of. Um, I think I had a huge impact on this team this year um, not just with, with play but just who I am as a person I think 
I was the level head person this locker room needed um, at times. Uh, and so, yeah, I <laughs> love this place. I know this place, and there's familiarity with this place. Um, the staff has been the best, all the people I've met over the past few years. I mean, that's the stuff that you love and you want to come back to. Um, but, you know, this is – football is not forever. Um, I know that. I put my body on the line every every game, and I'm in the action every game. Uh, and so when I say I do the best thing for me, it's, you know, short-term thinking. you got to do the best for you to secure, you know, generational wealth for your family. Um, when you, How far apart do you think you guys were when you talked at the bye week? Uh, no, it got closer. We started off far, but we got closer. And so I think, you know, if all things shake out, it should be fine. But, yeah, I, I, I don't get this. So there was some but movement during the week. There was some even. movement. Yeah, okay. there was some movement. It wasn't for sure. just the one thing and then, okay. Yeah, no, yeah. it was just movement. There was some good talks. And I think it was a good communication level with uh, my party and Shane uh, to understand what, kind of why things were yeah. what they were. Were you, would you plan or have you talked directly to Joe? Not just say, like, oh, let my agent handle it. You can say, listen, man, this is why I think, I'm going to tell you right to your face, this is why I think I should get paid this money this is my you, you're doing it here you're yeah. telling us why you're valuable you're not shy which is totally fine yeah but do you will you do that have you done that talk to yeah man i think man? i yeah man to man we have talked uh you know i was uh yeah i mean he put it he laid it out on kind of what he's looking for and what you know, i feel like i have shown um i always try to look at it from all perspectives and put myself in their shoes and what would they do um or what would i do if i was in their shoes and so i think with that level of understanding we're, something's going to get done for sure. Um, you know, I want it to be at a spot. I'm sure they want it to be at a spot. Um, but the respect between me, him, and all the people who are involved in this is, is all-time high, which I think is important. Mm -hmm. is, was, after the bye week, there's no animosity. I didn't shut down at all because we didn't get the deal done. I n felt confident in my ability to show why I'm worth what I think I'm worth. Do you tell, I mean, you sound optimistic that a deal is going to get done. Is that a safe characterization? Character uh, <laughs> I can't say safe, but I'm sh I have respect and trust in his decision-making process, and so that's uh, that's what it is. And I'm continuing to be the person I am. But yeah, I can't really say too much on that. If I can guarantee a deal is going to get done.